Okay, the rain we're getting almost every day. You know it can cool things off for a bit, but then our hot weather comes blasting back. Do you ever feel like the heat really gets to you? Well, tonight, here's the question. Am I on medicines that make me feel hotter? That's an important question because tonight we'll talk about the medicines that actually crank up your internal body temperature. I've learned a lot from the experts at Mayo Clinic. It's so hot. It's terrible. It makes me sweat like crazy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's Florida and Georgia in August. It feels hotter than a good southern kitchen. Mm -hmm, you bet we get it. But maybe you aren't a wimp. Maybe it's medical for you. Are there some people who are just feeling hotter, feeling more uncomfortable because of certain medications that they're taking? Yes. Dr. Michael Shu is a doctor of pharmacy here at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville. 23 years experience. He points to three ways medications can make you more heat intolerant. Number one, psychiatric drugs can reset the internal temperature in your brain and that can make you overheat. Those would be antidepressants like Prozac or uh, fluoxetine is the generic name. He says this also includes Lexapro, Paxil, and Seroquel. It's kind of complex, but what these drugs do is they alter these neurotransmitters in your brain to set your thermos, your internal thermostat at a different temperature. Number two, drugs that reduce sweating so much you can overheat. These include antihistamines like Benadryl, bladder drugs, and stomach and intestinal drugs. What they do is they work in a, on another substance in your skin that stops you from sweating. And if you don't sweat, your core temperature goes up much quicker and that's where you can get into trouble. And number three, water pills or diuretics. They can get rid of water in your body and so you get dehydrated. Dr. Shu says these include Lasix, alcohol, and caffeine. So what's the solution when the sun is a blazing? Dr. Shu says be on guard. You can get heat exhaustion or heat stroke easier. Remember, you are not a wimp. You may actually feel hotter than everybody else around you. So Dr. Shu says to fight back against the heat, drink a lot of water, 64 ounces a day. That's eight cups of water. And he says try putting an ice pack on your head or on your groin, or have you ever thought of this, under your arms? He says that helps a lot. Dr. Shu gave me a list of some 20 medications that can make you less heat tolerant, and I put his list in this story on our website, firstcoastnews.com, also on our app. I hope it helps you. That is good information to know. Thanks, Jeannie.